Hello everyone, welcome back to my free channel YouTube. Today I bought this from Timo after I've seen uh, many good review and uh, I would like to share this video with you. Let's open this box and test this soldering battery operator and uh, to see the, the model number 5133 uh, slash 5134 uh, type C, uh, 3 amp, 8 watt or 215 watt. This is like a, a pin. Uh, it comes with the, inside the box. There is a user manual. This is a, tells you all the details here, how to use, and everything else. In the back, different languages, portable soldering iron. This is the cool thing about this uh, hard box. It's type C cable charger. This is the holder. Very cool design. And it comes with the three tip uh, soldering iron tip, and those are looks like really cool design. The first tip it's me it's like round, and you can see it's really really tiny. Let's see what it says here. Second one. Third one. comes with the it's not easy to remove this a little bit hard this is a small I think this is a six millimeter maybe less very tiny soldering 0 0.6 millimeter This is a sun sponge. This, when you put this one in the water, so this come dry sponge. As soon as you put it in the water, it's expand as you see. here also it comes with uh, advanced raising uh, soldering flex this is very solid like a rock and then the soldering iron Model number USB 5134 Type C
operate, press and hold. On. There is no tip, so this has it says on, but it won't. There is no heat, so as soon as you turn off, and then insert any of those ones like that. The tip. Let's use uh, this one. This shape like that. You need to push it a little bit and then all the way until it's see it's now it's set. Remove insert. Very easy. Quick release and easy and insert in. Now press hold and now it's right uh, temperature it's uh, increasing very quick it takes about 10 seconds it's already heated up let's give it a try a little bit Clean it. Uh, temperature three uh, three hundred fifty Celsius, and then as soon as I dip it in, you see, you see the Let's see if we put it in the water and see the temperature. Seventy. Three fifty. Amazing, excellent soldering iron. If we do this, to turn it off, press and hold, and it's off. Now, th be careful, this is still hot. It takes about a minute or over a minute to cool down so do not touch it if you wear gloves or use pliers to replace this so be careful this will take over a minute or so it's still very hot so I can touch it but you cannot hold it because it will burn your finger. So what you, what you need to do to replace this, like that. You can replace another one. Or put, yeah, now it's, see, as soon as you remove it, you can touch it from here, but this, the tip here is still a little bit warm though. Put it back again. Now it's safe to touch. The cool thing about this, amazingly, those tips are made of really good quality material. They warm up very quick and they cool off really quick too. Press and hold.
and takes about 10 to uh, 15 seconds to ready uh, to be ready to, to use really really quick see yeah it's about I would say 20 seconds or so This is a little bit thicker sol soldering. This one is 0 0.8. The great thing about this, see I've been using it now uh, a few minutes and amazing, so easy to clean. Now you can increase the temperature by pressing this uh, positive. Press and hold. 450 Celsius. And then automatically, you know, it sits, it sits like that. Uh, this is the battery temperature, 67% left. To hold uh, negative, Press and hold, 180 Celsius. So, the average temperature for this, like now it's 180, and it's easy also to operate, very, very easy, see? even at the lowest temperature, which is 180 Celsius. And once you're ready to charge it, place it here, and now it's charging 84%. Let's see if we while we're charging it, if we can you still use it. Press and hold, on, and that's another good feature. Even while we're charging it, you can also use it. 180. Amazing. This is super, super good product. The best I have seen so far. Very easy to hold, to control, like a pen, a pen you know. Now, let's uh, try to solder something. You can also hold it like that. Now we need to increase the temperature. It's 180 right now. Press and hold until we reach 350. That's three, 350.
so anyway because this is a you can see the it welds really well but it, it is this is perfect for tiny electronic repair not like heavy duty such a, a big wire or so it can still work as you see it is super good but it's not recommended to use for uh, such a, like heavy duty welding or so or soldering uh, the best is because it is made for small tiny tips so it's great for small component and small electronic repair or so and it comes super handy uh, this one it's my first time I'm using this I found it super good uh, more details in the link description and uh, thank you so much for watching all the best and hope to see you next time